Welcome to Dogo Argentino USA, the channel where we talk Dogo. I'm your host, Nicole. In today's episode, we're going to chat about being a good breed ambassador. A Dogo Argentino dog can only be a good breed ambassador if he's polite and in public. My stud Zeus has his AKC, Good Citizenship, his Good Citizenship Urban, and his Good Citizenship Community. These are judged tests of obedience that are scored, and I highly recommend you pursue these earned titles with your own dog. Now let's switch gears and talk about a less explored topic of being a Dogo Argentino dog owner who is a good breed ambassador both in the community and online. So I think the very most important thing that you can do to be a good breed ambassador is to be honest both online and in the community. If you love Dogo Argentinos and you want them to survive, you need to tell the truth about the positives and the negatives of the Dogo Argentino breed. Lying out of love for the dog will only harm the breed as it will attract people who can't actually meet the Dogo Argentino needs and who will end up either being unhappy, making the dog unhappy, surrendering the dog, or worse. Being brutally honest gives people that are a good fit a chance to be matched with this beautiful, intelligent, and powerful breed. Let me give you a really common example. I love to take my Dogo Argentinos to Home Depot. We do it all the time. Now, if you have somebody come up to you and ask you a question in Home Depot, you don't want to kind of mislead them if they're asking an actual question. question in sense of, hey, that's a beautiful dog. Does it need a lot of exercise? You really got to turn around and be like, yes, it totally needs a lot of exercise. I was recently contacted by someone, hello, you know who you are, who went to a breeder and that breeder answered their question about exercise with a, they don't really need that much. No big deal. They'll adapt. And that is so misleading and so not helpful to the breed as a whole because you don't want somebody to take a dog that they can't have a good fit with in terms of lifestyle because that just means that unhappiness is going to ensue possibly up to and including that dog ultimately being destroyed if the dog is surrendered, for example. So you've got to be honest. If people are asking you things, It doesn't help the breed to mislead them, to lie, to sugarcoat. And that's one of the reasons I try to be very honest and very transparent. I don't think that I am the most knowledgeable expert person that ever existed or the perfect dog owner or any of those things. And I don't actually think any of that's really very helpful for people because what's helpful is being able to relate to both the good and the bad of the Dogo Argentino dog breed. And so I try to be really, really honest. If people are like, hey, how are they with other dogs? Well, I I try to tell them this is a guardian breed. I try to be very honest because I want you to make an informed decision if you choose to pursue having a Dogo Argentino in your life. That is what actually honors the dog. Being truthful Uh, presenting a facade out of love is really, really dangerous in my opinion. So being honest is a huge part of being a good breed ambassador for the Dogo Argentino dog. I think a second quality of a good breed ambassador is to be friendly. If someone in the community or online mislabels the Dogo Argentino, remember, It's a super rare breed. We literally got accepted into AKC January 1st of 2020. Even though it's been in the United States for 50 years, most people are completely unfamiliar with it. Getting hostile because the public thinks your pride and joy is an American pit bull terrier or an American bulldog or some other kind of dog doesn't make the breed or its community look really, really appealing. And breeds that are unappreciated by the public can have breed-specific legislation passed against it based on appearance. And in fact, there are several countries where the Dogo is banned and essentially assigned a category based on appearance. And dogs that are not appreciated by the public can go extinct. They go extinct every year in AKC. There are certain breeds that slip away from us. So being gentle, being friendly, explaining that it is the dog of Argentina the Dogo Argentino, 
is helpful to the community. And even though it might be annoying, if you can just swallow that and thank the person and be like, hey, you may not know this, it's a rare breed, it's a dogo. And helping them understand and appreciate the beauty, power, and loyalty of this breed is going to serve the dog. So I think being friendly is a really big part of being a breed ambassador. One of the best things you can do to be a breed ambassador for the dog of Argentina is to be helpful if possible. If someone asks a question and you have time and the inclination to help, you should. If not, move on. Being condescending, snarky, rude, or belittling does not help the breed of Dogo Argentino. People, both in the community and online, try to do research these days, and you can't expect potential owners to know everything. No one knows everything, even if they claim they do. Asking questions should never be something that you are shamed for or ashamed of, especially when it comes to making a 9 to 15 year commitment to a Dogo Argentino dog. I find that this tends to happen quite a lot in the online community, and I always feel so bad for people. I belong to a lot of different forums. Many of them are online, and a lot of times people will come in, they don't know much about the breed, and they ask a question. To me, in my mind, the places that you're going to do research, if you're interested in something, you're going to Google it, you're going to go to YouTube, you're going to go to Facebook, you're going to join some groups and ask some questions. But I personally, this is my experience, it might not be yours, that the forums on Facebook and in other places online for the Dogo Argentino dog are some of the most unfriendly, unwelcoming places I have ever seen. It is ridiculous. And you are not helping people if you're one of those people who seems to really enjoy being nasty to newcomers. Everybody was new at one point. Everybody. So try to remember to be helpful if you want to be a good breed ambassador. And if you don't have time or you don't have inclination, you can just move on. You don't have to help. It's not your job, but you don't have to be mean either. That is also not your job. I think a big part of being a good breed ambassador for the dog of Argentina is to be kind and supportive of all dogs. All dogs are good dogs. All dogs deserve love, dignity, good care, and forever homes. So the next time a wide-eyed novice shows you a picture of what might be or might not be a Dogo Argentino, particularly in an internet forum dedicated to the Dogo Argentino breed, remember only a DNA test can tell for sure. If you think that dog is or isn't a dogo, you can communicate that gently and with full respect that no matter what the dog is, it definitely is someone's family member. You get zero points for slamming a cute white pupperdoodle. That is someone's baby. Now, of course, there are markers that are pretty obvious when you know the breed, but just because that particular dog doesn't seem to have those markers doesn't mean it's not a dogo. Remember, only DNA can tell for sure. It might just be a non-conforming example of, of a dogo in terms of breed standard. That doesn't make it a bad dog. That doesn't mean that it's not worthy of belonging to a forum. It doesn't mean that it might not be a mixed breed and have some dogo in it. These are our people. So when they come in and they show their dog you know, and ask an opinion, there's nothing wrong with either not giving an opinion if it's obvious to you that it isn't a dogo and just scroll on by that type of post or, you know, encouraging the person to seek a DNA test like Embark or just saying, well, there are some features that are similar. There are some features that are dissimilar. It may be a mix. Um, I see so many people who just absolutely seem to act like vultures around a carcass picking at these dogs' photos like it makes them superior in some way. That does not make you a good breed ambassador. Likewise, I think being a good breed ambassador for the Dogo Argentino breed includes being positive. If you can move forward in life believing that the other person doesn't have bad intentions, it's going to give you a greater sense of peace. So many people are so quick to judge, so quick to assume, so quick to condemn other dog owners as being in some way bad. This doesn't serve Dogo Argentinos as a breed. Being critical in a jerky way 
only drives away potential forever homes for the Dogo Argentino breed. If you find yourself patrolling social media, in particular looking for opportunities to slam others with your vastly superior breed knowledge to prop up your own eagle, while simultaneously implying the person is a bad human and a bad dog owner who shouldn't even think of owning a Dogo Argentino, then you are helping to make the Dogo Argentino community a negative place. If the community isn't welcoming to newbies, we are going to have a very hard time preserving the breed through the generations to come. We already have quite a formidable enemy in the form of breed-specific legislation, appearance-based fear, certain animal rights groups who believe preservation breeders do the devil's work, that we could do ourselves a great service by avoiding infighting in our very own community. So being positive is a good thing when you are trying to support the breed. Being negative and snarky is not helpful to the Dogo Argentino breed. The seventh quality of a good Dogo Argentino breed ambassador is to offer fellowship when you can. Everyone was once new to the breed. Make friends if you're able in order to support the community by being a positive force for mentorship and encouragement. I myself started my YouTube channel to serve Dogo Argentino enthusiasts because I noticed that many internet breed forums were not welcoming, helpful, or friendly. Almost no in-depth information seemed accessible. In fact, the majority of social media seemed less focused on the appreciation of the Dogo Argentino breed and more focused on a perverse sense of enjoyment of extreme elitism, negativity, and condescension that frequently seems to dissolve into flame wars online. Instead, I wanted to show the beauty of the Dogo Argentino while serving both Dogo Argentino enthusiasts and potential Dogo Argentino owners with long-form videos that share education meant to make your life with your Dogo Argentino easier. Even though my little tiny YouTube channel is only about six months old, I spend a fair amount of time through my little channel trying to help people in comments through emails and private messages because ultimately I want the breed to thrive. I don't say this to complain. I choose to do this because it's a hobby that I love. I want interested people to share my appreciation and enjoyment of this breed's many five qualities. Even though, as of the time of making the video, I'm not a paid professional YouTuber and I get nothing in return except for people's appreciation, my own indulgence and my passion for the Dogo Argentino dog, and a real true firm belief that my work actually serves the breed community. Honestly, even if my channel were monetized, which it isn't, as I mentioned, only YouTubers with multiple millions of subscribers make more than a few pennies here or there. I just want to talk Dogo. Honestly, Plus, you guys get to check out my very own amazing Dogo Argentinos who literally make my life so wonderful. So I hope that by offering fellowship and friendship to others, you can be a better breed ambassador. You can really light the way for future people in the Dogo Argentino breed. And we need new people because if we don't have new people, this breed will die. So we need to be welcoming. We need to be friendly. I guess what I'm saying is that, in conclusion, I want good people to feel welcome in the Dogo Argentino community. I want to serve the breed by offering my knowledge, my thoughts, my feelings, and my experiences through making videos about the Dogo Argentino breed. I want to show up for the Dogos. I'm a Dogo enthusiast. I'm a small Dogo breeder, a trainer, and a woman with cat ears and a camera. I am one voice among many. I don't claim to know everything. I'm not a veterinarian, a professional dog behaviorist or nutritionist, or a huge Dogo Argentino breeder churning out fresh litters like clockwork. What I do know is that knowledge is better than ignorance, and a deep passion for the breed is an extremely poor excuse for elitism. I personally hope that you find the channel of service to you in your quest for more information about Dogo Argentinos. I hope that I've improved your relationship with your Dogo. And as always, if you want to help me out so more people get a friendly community to be a part of, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Because by doing that, YouTube's algorithm will turn on and it will start to mention my channel to interested people. 
which is the only way that small creators survive. I thank you for your support and your feedback. Have a dogotastic day.